Have you ever opened Logic Pro 10 and gone to the Amp Designer module, scrolled through a bunch of amps and thought to yourself, man, all of these sound absolutely terrible. Well, you wouldn't be the first person because I certainly did the same when I started using Logic Pro 10, but after weeks and months, maybe years of searching, I finally found the one amp model in Logic that actually sounds really good. Free of charge, straight out of the box, and you can get some great tones like this. Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Chris Harvey and I post weekly content every Tuesday about all things guitar related. So if you're passionate about guitar and you've come to the right place, I've got you covered. Before we get into today's video, I just want to take a second to thank everybody who has subscribed to the channel because just recently I have hit a thousand subscribers. Amazing, crazy, never thought that that would happen so quickly and I'm really grateful to every single one of you. So if you haven't, do consider hitting subscribe. But more importantly, if you do find this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out, really helps the channel. And I'd appreciate that. So this amp model in Logic Pro, what is it? Well, it's actually a couple of things. So make sure to watch this video till the end to get the full picture. But at its very core, it is the Boutique Retro Clean amp model. So if you go into your amp designer module in Logic, you'll find the amp in the clean section. It's just a really great clean blank canvas amp that pretty much has everything that I look for in a great amp tone. I've just pulled up my phone because I want to hear what Apple actually has to say about what this amp actually is. So let me just paraphrase slightly. So it's basically a 212 combo amp that's inspired by a load of classic sounds from the 60s. So. I mean, I guess that could be anything, but I think Fender mostly when I kind of hear that amp. And it says it has good cleans and good crunch tones, making it a good choice when you want old fashioned flavor, but with the crisp highs and defined lows of a modern amplifier. And that's actually pretty true. I do like the crispiness of this amp and I really like the tight low end, especially if you were to play notes in the kind of lower strings, you definitely get a really tight bass response, which is something that is quite surprising for digital modeling software. It says this model has very sensitive tone controls and can deliver countless guitar tones. Yeah, I'll go with that. So we heard the amp with the track in the jam that I played earlier, but let's actually just hear this in isolation, just so you can hear exactly what we're working with. So yeah, pretty good, but there are a couple of things that you can do to make this even better. So your best friend in all of this is gonna be EQ, because there are obviously some basic EQ functions on the amp, but I don't think they work particularly well. And there are definitely ways that you can incorporate the EQ plugins in Logic to really help you sculpt that tone and pull out any frequencies that you don't like and enhance the ones that you do like. So typically I'll just go into Logic, I'll take their standard EQ channel and I will just analyze the actual sound wave. I'll see where the frequencies are that are kind of doing the most and I might accentuate those. And any frequencies that are just redundant, I'll normally just cut those. So I'll cut all the extreme lows, cut all the extreme highs, just cause then in isolation, it might not sound great, but when you put it into a track, it's really gonna cut through the mix. And that's gonna be really important when you're playing guitar. A little bit of compression also goes a really long way. So if you just use the standard compressor module in Logic Pro, there are some presets in there for guitar. So just go ahead, choose any one of those, and then you can just tweak it slightly depending on what you like, whether you want something that's a bit more subtle just to even out all the notes, 
or something really squishy for kind of country, that sort of stuff. You can pretty much get any compression sound you want just using the stock compressors in Logic Pro 10. Another thing that is also quite useful is the expander plugin. And all this does is it kind of spreads the sound slightly. And although we are just recording this in mono, you will find that if you are struggling to get the output that you want, if you think that your sound is maybe quite small and you want to expand it to take up more room in the mix, then an expander is a really easy way to just achieve that and that can certainly make your tone come to life a little bit so i tend to use that pretty much the default setting works well and maybe just increasing the gain slightly just to kind of accentuate it but that should get you a lot of the way there now one thing that i like about this amp and one thing that i think it does well and certainly better than the other amps in Logic, is it actually takes pedals really well. So all I'm doing is I'm going from my guitar into my pedal board, and then from the output of my last pedal, I'm going straight into the DI input of my interface, straight into Logic Pro 10. And I'll find that if I use modulation, so things like reverb and delay, although the amp has reverb, and I think that sounds pretty good, and I'll sometimes just leave that on and then add another reverb on top, and certainly there's loads of delays and modulation within Logic Pro that you can use, but if you do have some favorite delay reverb modulation pedals, then I always tend to favor those and I'll use them wherever I can. And then the final cherry on top is just using some overdrive, some distortions, some boost pedals just to further fatten the sound. I'm going to play a bit with the One Platumnus, which is basically like a Clan Centaur style overdrive. It's set pretty clean and it's just designed to basically give us a bit of a boost. So let's hear that. <laughs> So those were just a few hacks of how to really get the most out of the stock amp models in Logic Pro 10. It's not all doom and gloom, a lot of them aren't very good, granted, but I think the Boosie Retro Clean is a really good blank canvas and if you add some of the plugins that we mentioned, if you've got a pedal board that you like to run, just experiment throwing a few things into the mix and I think you'll be really pleasantly surprised with the results. As always guys, thank you so much for checking out my channel. Thanks for watching this video. I hope to see you all in the next one next Tuesday. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified when I upload. And I will see you all in the next video.